A little while back, Elegoo had contacted me, uh, the research marketing team, and asked if I would sample one of their Elegoo Uno Super Project Starter Kits. And these can be found on Amazon and eBay and on their website. Uh, we're going to take a look at what's inside here in just a moment. I think uh, what this kit has included in it is uh, pretty much everything you would need to get started. It has a battery, has a breadboard, has the, uh, I think it's a, a generic Uno uh, or Elegoo branded uh, Arduino. These are a great kit if you're getting started in microcontroller and programming. Uh, it, it has all the essentials that you're going to need to get started at a basic level and you can expand off of this with anything else that is offered in the Arduino or square I squared C based sensors. All right, so let's open this up, see what's inside. Super Static Kit, Uno R3 Project. Now, it's nice that it comes in this case, and when you're done with your project or your parts, you can kind of just put everything back in here. I like this. It's a very nice case. Let's take a peek at the contents here. All right, right away, I'm seeing a thank you card. And these are all the sensors that are available in this kit. It looks like we have a R3 controller board, a 1602 LCD module, a breadboard, power supply. Oh, this is nice. It's got a couple of ICs, a buzzer, seven segment LEDs, and jumper wires. Oh, it even comes with a remote control. That's kind of neat. I wonder if it has an IR sensor receiver. Uh, I would think it would if it came with the kit. Also comes with a CD. I'm sure that yeah, it has libraries and code and probably some sample projects. We might take a look at that a little later. Oh well, wow, this is this is quite a nice little kit. We got a little power supply board. Ah, there it is. It does have an IR sensor. So that's nice. Nice little package. And ultrasonic sensor. These are fun to play with. DC motor, uh, servo motor, servo driver, I'm sorry, servo motor, stepper driver for a stepper motor. Oh, this is pretty neat, little fan blade. Oh, nice. Four digit seven segment LED. That's pretty cool, relays. A uh, couple of potentiometers, uh, temperature and humidity sensor. I've played with a few of these over time, and a little single se uh, seven segment. Wow! Look at all the. They give you plenty of jumpers. That's nice. And here is the LCD. Now I kind of wish that they gave the I squared C connection uh, for this. But uh, I don't think it would have added that much cost to the kit, but that would make things a little bit easier for the basic uh, first timer trying to assemble these. So you have to basically hook all these wires up to the microcontroller and it kind of uh, wastes some I.O. on the microcontroller. So what the I squared C controller chip does, I might see if I have one here real quick. Basically, it looks like this and it would solder on the back of this board here on the back of the LCD and you basically get an I squared C uh, communication to the LCD. Like I said before, it reduces IO waste on the microcontroller. So if they're looking for any recommendations to make this kit just a little bit better, I would probably consider including this board, which is probably only a couple of cents to, to them. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Got the Elegoo board. That's a nice, let's get that open. But, all right, there is the Uno R3, Elegoo branded. And it looks really good quality. I like the black PCB. And, yeah, looks like a, looks like a clone, like any other clone you would see. Uh, looks like a breadboard shield. 
That looks nice. I won't open everything up, but I have some LEDs. That's nice. I sees a couple looks like a couple trannies in there. That's cool. Some push buttons, diodes, and looks like a little thermistor in there. And some photo cells. That's pretty neat. Got some photo cells in there. That was always fun to play with for light and dark projects. A USB cord. And this must be the joystick controller, which probably, yeah, yeah this snaps on here. And, yeah. It's pretty neat. And the stepper motor, that's nice. Ah, infrared remote control. Between these two here, I mean, you can have fun for days trying to, you know, program things to turn off and on lights or whatnot. Um, I'd be interested to see if there's code on their CD for this. And we got a power cord here from the 9 volt battery to the Arduino. Well, some resistors. Looks like they give you some decent resistors here. Uh, and another solderless breadboard. That's nice. These are always convenient to have on the bench. Uh, I have tons of these lying around and they're always convenient to, to use on the bench when you're working with projects. Uh, basically these red and blue lines are, uh, these, this row here is connected this way and on the red and blue lines and these rows are connected this way. So if you put an IC across the breadboard here, you can use every pin above to stab in to get that pin right there on that IC. That is, these things are awesome for prototyping electronics. So if you're looking to get started in electronics, breadboards are definitely something you'd want to have with a set of, obviously a set of jumpers. And you can get, you can get these fairly cheap as well. And it looks like they give you some extensions here. These are female to male, um, maybe DuPont connectors, I think they are. Uh, these are nice to have too, because sometimes you don't always need male to male. Sometimes you need to actually connect on to the sensors themselves with the female ends. And that's nice. And for what you get here, uh, it, it, I believe this kit goes for around 35, 36, 37, somewhere in that range. Uh, dollars and for what you get here I believe this is a fair deal you get all this stuff for that money now here's something I have not seen before and this looks like a regulator board and it probably gives you 5, vol yep, five volts and 3.3 volts connections from either a USB or an external source with a power switch that is pretty convenient. It looks like it, I'm not sure if this, I don't think this is a shield of any sort. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe somebody out there can put down in the comments what exactly how this would be used. Uh, only Elegoo branded nine volt battery. I wonder how much it costs them to make that. That's interesting. I've never seen a, a branded battery by, uh, you know, a company like this. So that's interesting as well. Now these relays, uh, 10 amp, they have 10 amp relays. So that's, that's a good, that's a good current load. Uh, like I said, a couple of tremors, seven segments. Yeah. I don't know. Looks pretty good to me. Uh, I'm going to check out this CD and see what's on here. Maybe we can see if there's any projects on there and instructions. So it looks like PDF code and libraries. So I'm gonna pop this in the computer and see what's on it. All right, so I've copied all the contents of that CD into a directory called Illigo. And it looks like we have a driver document here. Uh, basically, how to install a driver if you have to. I plugged it in my computer and did not require it because I've already probably installed this a while back. So I don't have to deal with that. Let's see, English. We got code, uh, we got a bunch of projects here that come on the CD, RGB LED, digital inputs, making sounds. This look, look like a bunch of projects here. Yep, just Arduino INOs. So you will have to install, install the uh, Arduino IDE. 
Okay, it's an overview of all the parts. Uh, photo cell, serial monitor. I do believe this is what we're looking for. It might, okay, how to install the drivers, blah, blah, blah. I want to see, yep, okay, so it does have how the breadboard works, as I was saying earlier, how the connections work. LEDs, this is how the color code works on the LEDs. Arduino, how to hook it up. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, we got a, a three-color LED here. That's pretty neat. Those are always fun to play with. RGB. Uh, looks like PWM theory. So it, it just basically looks like it gives you a, a general idea of how all these work. Now there's a voltage divider using the photo cell. These are this is a pretty interesting little project. How to um, use a voltage divider and give your analog input, so you'll be able to get a photo cell to correspond to a voltage on your analog input. That's that's pretty neat. Really simple. Yeah, not bad. This is not a bad little kit. It gives you a lot to do for not too much money and will get you started in microcontrollers. I, I really like the servo and the uh, stepper motor projects. Those are always fun to play with. The, the, the stepper motor always has a um, versus a DC motor. It, it'll move to a certain point and it will always come back and unless it skips steps due to you know restrictions on the output it m always will return back and forth to the same position unlike a DC motor where it'll just continuously spin and not have anywhere of uh, not any specific point it's going to stop but the stepper motors will stop in a certain degree or an angle that uh, is very nice for doing any kind of automated device where you would need something like that like opening up a trap door or, or making some kind of automatic cat feeder or whatnot i mean anything that the projects you can do with a stepper motor are, are endless uh, there we go the stepper driver board okay ah okay now we're finally seeing this board here that's how it goes on it goes on that way okay that makes a lot more sense um so that is so you can power your breadboard on the project. Um, that's how you can power your project on the breadboard here. I get it now. That makes more sense. I can't believe I didn't put that together earlier, but that's pretty cool. I like that. All right, for a little sample project, I'm going to be hooking up a three color LED. And it looks like we've defined pin three is going to be blue. Pin 5 is going to be green, and pin 6 is going to be red. So let's go over to the parts here. And what I have is a, a three-color LED hooked up to three 220-ohm resistors. And these values are stated in the uh, document that we just looked at, so that was pretty neat. And I have our red going to pin 6 and green going to pin five and blue going to pin three uh, if i read that correctly so there's your rgb and here is your ground that is going to be common amongst all these three colors and this we're going to plug this shield right on to the uno and it should just go on there pop it together and we'll plug in our usb and probably nothing's going to happen because we don't have a program on it right yet. All right, so it's lit up. So let's go to the code and let's see if we can upload this. All right, so this is the sample code for that LED and it's going to go do a little color wheel. Uh, let's see here, there's probably some, is there some for loops in here? Yeah, okay, so this is the for loop. It's going to cycle through a bunch of different colors. Uh, you can read up on for loops and get some basic knowledge of some of the commands that uh, you can do in Arduino. It is pretty neat stuff. So what I'm going to do is compile this to make sure there's no errors in the code. 
and down here you see done compiling you get that no errors you're good to go to upload so we're going to select make sure we have our board select arduino uno and my have mine's on com port 5 and that should be set to go now we can uh, upload it's going to recompile and then upload so let's compile uploading done uploading so that's it let's go back to the bench and see what it did all right so it looks like it worked it is cycling through the different colors we got purple red green aqua every color in between so that's basically it now you can expand upon this project if you want to put a switch in here you can start it and stop it and you know you just have to write the code for it but uh, it's definitely possible so not bad it's Getting starting electronics these days is is a little bit more um, simple to the point where if you're just ha if you're just starting off at microcontrollers and not doing like component level uh, breadboarding, this might be a little bit easier for you versus dealing with integrated circuits uh, to get started with. It, it, you're dealing with the code and some and a bunch of projects that somebody has already proven that works versus something that's posted online in just schematic form and you have to build it yourself so this is definitely a, a, a easy way to go if you want to get started in learning on how signals work in pwm digital versus analog and that might give you a better understanding when you go to do discrete uh, uh, components on a breadboard it might uh, give you a little bit better understanding on how they actually react but that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is the Elegoo Super Project Kit. And I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next video.